What's up guys, welcome back to the vlog. We're actually here at iCast 2019, specifically at the Catch Co. booth today. We're gonna showcase some new baits for you guys. Check this stuff out, y'all. The new Guggen Squad baits. In partnership with Catch Co., who is sponsoring today's video, we would love to thank them so much for that. We are gonna go ahead and dive in to some of these new spinner baits, buzz baits, frogs, the whole nine highly anticipated baits for 2019. Gonna be hitting the shelves very soon. We could not be more excited. Let's go ahead and take a look at these right now. Okay, so we got a whole slew of things to go over. Let's start things off just on this side right here. We've got spinner baits. I'm a little shaky from that Starbucks, guys. Look at these colors. Oh my gosh. Shad, shad and chartreuse, and funky orange. Ooh, that looks like one of my favorite colors to throw in cranks. And look at this. They even show the weight is on here as well. So this guy's a half an ounce, and you know that because it displays the weight on the bottom side. It also has the GS logo. GS logo on the blades as well as the eyes. So sick. Also, there's this little green stopper right here. That's so your line stays up on the nose there instead of your line dipping down to the side. So what's gonna happen is if your line starts to uh, slide down, it might bring in your spinner bait some odd way as opposed to staying up there with that little essentially rubber stopper. And that's gonna keep the, the spinner bait swimming right along the bottom where you want it in that straight line. So the spinner baits. Next, we've got some top water. Check out the brand new buzz baits, guys. This is so sick, I'm pumped on the buzz baits. When I first started doing this channel, I, a buzz bait was like one of my for sure confidence baits. I was throwing them morning, noon, and night because I didn't know any better. And so basically the buzz baits have, uh, they got my heart, check this thing out right here. So black and white, we've got a gold blade here and a silver blade here, again with that rubber stop so your line doesn't move down the lure. Perfect. You're just gonna wanna crank this thing on some heavy braid, open water, early mornings, late nights, and what I would recommend is casting this sucker out, get to reeling it right away so that it doesn't start sinking, and you're gonna wanna go as slow as possible without it sinking to get that noise from the blade, and you might also want to add a trailer to these. I've seen a bunch of different soft plastics. Just end up rigging these buzz baits up with your favorite soft plastic trailer if that's your thing, and have at it. Or you can just go straight up with the skirt and have some fun. Also might recommend a trailer hook. You can find those in all your major tackle stores. You can find those trailer hooks. That's a good idea for those short strikes when they try and go up for that buzz bait, but maybe they fall short on the bite. You can follow up with that trailer hook and oftentimes get those fish. We also have some hammer hooks. These right here look stout and tack sharp. You will catch some monsters with these bad boys right here for your Texas rigs. Anything you want to put on a hook, gonna be fantastic. Y'all have probably already seen the Guggen Squad line, but they've got it all here. We're talking about the monofilament, the braid, the fluorocarbon, and so my recommendation is probably 15 pound fluorocarbon for just about all around use. Grab you that heavy braid for your top waters, and then uh, something like the monofilament, I don't use often enough to recommend, so I would just stick to that fluorocarbon heavy 20 pound for more of your flipping and heavy cover stuff. Next, we have got some sweet looking frogs. Check this stuff out. Look at these bad boys. GS logo eyes, eat me right on top. That's so awesome. I've also thrown so many frogs with this pattern right here. This thing will absolutely slay with that white belly, nice and soft. Cannot wait to catch some frog fish with this bad boy right here. Then we got the jigs up next, you guys. We've got some casting, flipping, and swim jigs. So this is just for your all around casting right here, somewhat of a natural color. I really like cracking craws on the tail end of my jigs if you're just talking about the casting. Then they've got that heavier flipping, which I don't do a whole lot of, but they have those heavier flipping jigs for you guys who are flipping all over the place. And then they've also got these swim jigs right here. I've been throwing a lot of the mystery tackle box soft plastics on the tail end of my swim jigs. These are the ones that you're going to be cruising through as opposed to letting drop down to the bottom and catch you those fish when they're more active going after the moving baits. Here we go with some of the cranks, guys. This one right here immediately looks like one of my favorites. Let me pop him off the shelf and we'll take a closer look. This is the brand new Clutch. This one's gonna be absolutely my go-to. I love this color, just that shad pattern right here, and this is gonna be a lipless, so I can actually toss this thing out and I can get him as deep as I want, let him sink down. I can vary up the speed based on what the fish are wanting that day, kind of slow it down, speed it up. I love the lipless. I've been coming around so much since throwing the square bills when I first started the channel, but then of course, as I get closer to the bank, I start getting caught. Those treble hooks are always a pain, and so I like this because as I get closer to the banks on my pond fishing excursions, I can crank this in a little bit faster or raise the rod tip and I can get him closer to the surface, whereas those square bills are gonna try and dive deeper as you start bringing them closer to the bank. So the cranks are definitely on my list of things to do or things to get, but check out all the other colors real fast before we move on because I know you guys have your favorites. So let me just pan across a couple of these real fast. Juicy, juicy gonna get smoked. So many cranks here. We've got deep divers, we've got the middle ground, we've got larger and smaller sizes, we've got the lipless over here on the left. 
gonna slay. And then we've got the poppers. I think these ones are gonna be on the shelves a little bit later, but I, it, to, to be fair, I haven't fished with too many poppers, it's funny. That thing just looks absolutely beastly. So for you topwater guys throwing those poppers, they've got those along with the walking baits here. Check this guy out. I would say, which one would I wanna try? Look at this guy. Showcase the rattles on this one right here. This is gonna be their walking style topwater bait right here. Ooh, that looks absolutely dangerous. Got those balls in there for a little rattle on the top. That's gonna get hit right there. Also coming out is GS branded pliers. Scope that out. Looks about the same as the one I use, except a little bit more swagger with the GS logo and the green color. Oh my gosh, you must be kidding. Sick, they got the whole lineup over here, the new Mondo Optics, guys. I don't know how they look, you're gonna have to comment down below. Ooh, this goes with the Team Guggen outfit. I don't know, let me know. And now we can stay out of the sun a little bit more than me out here in Florida. I have been getting absolutely burnt, hammered by the sun out here. Should really be taking care of myself with some of these new GS Nikos that are coming out, keeping this nose from being all red and peeling. And real quickly, let's just take you guys over some of these other Biospawn lures by Ketchco. I've already had plenty of luck with these Exoswim trailers and this is exactly what I was talking about with those MTB baits to follow up on that. This is what I would pair. These are exactly what I would pair with this spinner bait right here. That is gonna be a deadly combo as a trailer. Either with a weighted belly hook or on something like their new spinner bait is absolutely going to crush. And these are great chatter bait trailers as well. You guys that are always throwing chatter baits, any one of these exo swims just grab whatever color is going to match and you will absolutely go to town you're going to slay and the vile bugs i've thrown these as chatterbait trailers too but they're great texas rigged and they have caught me a lot of fish you can see one of my best days of fishing ever where we caught 55 fish in one day the vile bug killed it on the tail end of a chatterbait it was that was a bunch of fun that was an insane day of fishing these ones i haven't used yet the plasma tail worms a little bit more finesse style check these guys out that looks like a drop shot style bait right here, which I don't throw enough, but I'm gonna go ahead and say I need to pick some of these up and toss these with a little quarter ounce uh, drop shot weight and get to town on some bass when they're acting in a little finicky, you know what I mean? These are gonna get the hits on those bass that are just not wanting to bite much else. I gotta throw these plasma tails. Need to get a hold of a couple of these. Oh, the baby bullshit. Yes! Ketchco has partnered up with Mike Buka on this one to design the Baby Bull Shad. The Bull Shad has gained so much popularity over the years and it's also, it's a full size swim bait. A little bit larger than these guys right here, about 50 bucks and so we've come out with something a little bit more affordable for everybody. This is a lot more budget friendly and check this guy out right here. Oh my gosh, absolutely will slay. And this is just so you guys can get familiar with using these swim baits if maybe you haven't thrown them and you don't want to spend that money. This is like that entry level. We actually have this color right here. I think the first fish we caught on that was maybe a three and a half pounder, no guarantees, but it will catch some big old fish right here. You can either just burn this thing, crank it back in, but what I've also have a lot of luck with is just slow rolling it just below the surface. And man, those strikes are so much fun when they just hammer that thing swimming slow. So the baby bull shad definitely on the list over here, the Ketchco booth. And what else have we got? This is brand new. Guys, so since these are brand spanking new and I haven't used them yet, but there's a good story behind them, I'd love to have Tim over here show us a little bit more about these brand new crankbaits. Let's hand it over to your boy. Hey guys, this is Tim from the Ketchco here to explain the new bubonic crankbait from the Ketch Company. So we worked with lure designer Chris Grout, who was a hand painting each one of these crankbaits out of his garage. We noticed his unique designs on Instagram and we decided we had to reach out and said, how can we combine our efforts to create one awesome crankbait? So we came out with a hand painted inspired crankbait that's gonna be available to the masses. It comes in a wide variety of mouth watering colors, not only gonna impress you, but they're gonna impress the fish that you're after. So check them out today. That's the bubonic crankbait from the Catch Company. There you have it guys, Tim Killen with the presentation on the brand new cranks, but we have one more shelf to hit and this one looks pretty sweet. Check out these 10,000 fish drop shot baits right here as well as the brand new Sakoshi bugs, which I've only thrown one time and had a blast throwing, but I need to catch more fish on these things. I'm gonna grab a few different colors and have at it. Also, look at these little blade baits, the Death Stalkers. I can't wait to throw these. Just recently ordered one of these off of Carl's and got another in a mystery tackle box and they are gonna slay. Just imagine, ooh, this thing is gonna cast a country mile. It's gonna have no problem cutting through the wind and it's got that blade to get the fish's attention. Treble hooks to go ahead and secure that catch. We need to get to throwing these right here. We've got a couple colors that we're gonna be featuring in the vlogs coming up soon. So be on the lookout for all the 10,000 fish products because we are gonna be 
slaying some fish on these things. That about does it at the Catchco booth 2019. Once again, we want to thank them for sponsoring today's video. We might actually have a guest appearance here in just a second with a few special people that you guys know and love, but we'll just have to wait a second and see on that. So until then. Oh, great products. Oh, special guest to close out the video. What's up, guys? How's it going? Yeah, if you guys had any inclination to subscribe to this channel, like after this video, just don't. It's, it shit sucks. <gasps>